The best way to learn cornering for skate technique is to do the marathon skate. You also want to try this in right and left side, so try to be ambidextrous. Now applying the straight line marathon skate into a corner, get out of the tracks and find an open space to practice cornering. Or many of the trails have big, fast corners to practice on throughout your workout. This is an example of pulling every other time. Kick, pull, kick, pull. So you kick every time and pull every other time. It's important to lean into the corner. You may have a phase where you're upright and slightly leaning forward in a nice relaxed position. What will really help you is if you can keep your hands behind you longer. The key here is wait until your foot hits the ground, your outside foot. When your outside foot hits the ground, then you either bring your hands forward from behind position or backward from the forward position. As you see, the foot connects with the ground, the hands are back in movement. The foot connects with the ground, the hands begin movement. There's a place and time to use a technique like this on certain corners, and it really depends on how fast you are moving over ground. It's important to note where your inside edge is and where your outside hip is. I've made this more clear in this photo. Another practical application of this is to use it during big congested ski marathons or just narrow trails getting by people safely. Here I'm showing the difference between pulling every other time and pulling every time. The key is to be able to learn how to do both. So learning with starting with the marathon skate, pulling every other time in a straight line is the best way. Otherwise, you're having to do twice the amount of work, and it's not necessary. You're going to wear yourself out. Nordic skiing is all about efficiency. This is the technique to be used on an uphill, steep corner. So when you're cornering up a hill, you don't have the glide and momentum that you would normally carry in the previous techniques I've talked about. So this application of jumping to the outside ski, keeping your inside ski behind you. That is more effective on uphill corners. All the best with your technique. I hope this helps. I do private coaching. You can contact me at the email address provided. Thanks.